Hello, my name is Katie Legan and I'm a PM intern here at Microsoft. In this video, we will cover how to set up intelligent recommendations with sample data downloaded from the Quick Start Guide right in this section. For those who don't know, intelligent recommendations reads data, models it, and enables recommendations. In this video, we will highlight how to set up your storage, create an intelligent recommendations account, and how to create a modeling instance. First, we will walk through how to set up your storage account. Start by navigating to the Azure portal, click on Storage Accounts, and select Create. In order to continue setting up your storage account, you will need an existing Azure subscription and resource group. Under Project Details, select your Azure subscription and resource group from the list of available options. Next, you will need to create a storage account name and select the Azure data region that your data will be stored in. When done, select the Review and Create button to create your storage account. After the storage account has been deployed, we will create the container where our sample data set will be stored. In the left menu's Data Storage section, we will select Containers and then Add Container at the top of the web page. Give your container a name and then hit Create. Next, we will upload the sample data set to the container using the Azure Storage Explorer app. Once we have opened the app, we will search for our storage account and look for the blob container we just created. Next, we are going to upload our sample data set. For this video, we are using the Intelligent Recommendations sample data set, which can be found and downloaded from our Quick Start Guide. To upload the sample data set using Azure Storage Explorer, you will need to click the Upload button at the top and then click Upload Folder. A pop-up window will appear in which you will need to locate and select the folder named IR Root from within the IR sample data set and hit Upload. We will repeat these steps to upload the error logs folder, locating and uploading our IR logs folder. After closing the Azure Storage Explorer tool and refreshing your page, you'll notice that the container now has both the IR root folder and IR logs folder uploaded to the page. Now that our storage is set up and the data has been uploaded to our container, we will configure the permissions for the storage account so that the Intelligent Recommendation Service can read the data and write back to the logs folder. To do this, navigate to Access Control from the left menu and then click the Add Role Assignment button. Next, we will grant the IR service permission to both read the data and access the write back logs. To do this, use the search bar under the Roles tab to search for Storage Blob Data Reader. Once the role is selected, change the Members tab and you can search for Intelligent Recommendations. For internal Microsoft services, search for Dynamics 365 Recommendations Service. Then hit the Review and Assign button on the bottom of the page to assign the role. Next, return to the list of roles and search for Storage Blob Data Contributor. And just like before, add the IR service as a member for that role. To check that our roles have been assigned correctly, return to Access Control and select View Access to this resource. Search for Intelligent Recommendations or Dynamics 365 Recommendations Service, and you will see that both roles are assigned. We can now continue. When complete, we will return to the storage container page. Next, we will create your Intelligent Recommendations account. First, we will need to save the URL to your container because you will need it to set up your model. To find the URL, select Properties from the left menu. Then copy the URL to your container. Now we are ready to create your Intelligent Recommendations account. First, search for Intelligent Recommendations and then hit Create. To create the account, enter your Azure subscription 
resource group and give your IR account a unique name. The reports connection string should point to the IR logs folder. To do this, you will paste your copied URL and add IR logs onto the end of the URL. Then hit review and create. Once your intelligent recommendations account is created, we will set up our first modeling instance. Select the modeling section from the left menu, click create, and give your modeling instance a unique name. Please only create one model per account. After selecting a name, decide which type of feature set you would like to use for your model. The standard feature set includes all of the basic features plus picks for you, and premium also includes shop similar. The connection string should point to your root folder. To do this, paste the copied URL again and add the IR root folder onto the end of the URL. Select Review and Create to start the modeling instance deployment. Next, we will create a service endpoint. First, open your Intelligent Recommendations account and on the left menu, click Service Endpoints. Then click Create. You will create a name for your endpoint. Because this is a trial, we will set the pre-allocated capacity to 1. Finally, we will need to update the permissions for the service endpoint so that your user can call the endpoint. Navigate to your Intelligent Recommendations account, and then in the left menu, select Endpoint Authentications. As you can see, you will need to know your principal ID and your AAD tenant ID. Your principal ID is your user ID. To find the ID in another tab, open the Azure Storage Portal and search for your own user. Copy the object ID on that page. Return to your Intelligent Recommendations account to paste the ID to your principal ID. To find your tenant ID in another tab, go to the Azure Active Directory, click on Properties on the top bar, and copy the tenant ID field. Once these fields are copied, return to your Intelligent Recommendations account in the other tab. You can add your user to the endpoint by pasting in the principal and tenant IDs. The principal type should be user. Then click Save. Now everything is set up and you can view your results in the Results Explorer, which we will cover in the next video. Thanks for watching, and for more information, check out the links in the description below.